Hi, I got a story to tell you. I'd like to hear it? Here it goes. So, I am at home scrolling Twitter, minding my social distancing business again, and I see the following tweet. And I said, Faye, don't you do it. Don't you do it. Don't you. I'm going to do my hair with blue magic today. And either this is going to be very, very epic or very, very horrible. But either way it goes, you'll be entertained. <laughs> so, of course, I can't stop with just applying blue magic. I got to put on the whole show. So let's see what corporate we'll have with this little star today. Here is my stash of hair supplies. I got rid of a lot and I put everything on this table. And if it doesn't fit on the table, it ain't meant for me to use anymore. So what am I going to use today? Dun, 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 dun. Bam. Let's see, what's this? This right here? Yeah, I'm gonna take this right here. Oh, shoot! Yes, we'll give you that. We'll give you that. Okay. Let's get started, hey? And we're back. It is time for me to apply my deep conditioner. For those who are interested, I'm using TGIN's Miracle RX Repair. Repair or child this. So anyway, listen, I'm a little bit nervous. Not about the application, because you know, I know how to handle my hair, but about the comments. Because anytime you do something outside of what the natural hair police tells you to do, they get upset. Oh, you don't use petroleum on your natural hair. Don't use mineral oil on your natural hair. Listen, Sally, you are not the boss of me and I would do whatever I want to to my curls. Okay. I'm gonna just go ahead and put this on here right here. Just like that right there. Do a little bit of swirling around. And that's the benefit of me being bald headed child. It don't take me much of nothing to go ahead and get this stuff applied. And so now I'm gonna put on my good friend, my good Judy, my bestie boo, Sam Bam, thank you man. Also known as Samantha. This is she right here. If you're new here, say hi to Samantha. She said hi too, girl. Look, so I'm gonna leave this on, this big old bag with a whole bunch of no hair on for about 15 minutes and I shall return. I'll be back and we're back. The deep conditioner has been completely rinsed out. I'm going to apply a whole lot of leave-in and here's why. The oils in Blue Magic, no matter how wonderful they are, they are a ceiling. And so if you put them on your natural strands, whatever level of moisture you have, it's gonna lock it in. So if you put it on dry hair, you're gonna lock in dryness and your hair gonna be dry from the inside out. If you put it on moisturized hair, it's gonna lock in the moisture. Your hair gonna be moisturized from the inside out. And so I need this to be moisturized, okay? We don't want no dry hair around these parts, so I'm gonna take a lot, and I mean a lot of leave-in and really literally apply that to my hair chat. Okay, let me make sure I get the crown because honey, I be forgetting about that. All right, so my leave-in is applied and I'm gonna put my cap back on. If you don't do this, I say this in every video and I mean this from the bottom of my heart. Put your cap on top of your leave-in. I promise you, it will soften your hair. It'll feel amazing. It is life changing. Put your cap on your leave-in, honey. All right, let me go slow because I ain't trying to have Samantha kill me today. All right, I'll be back. All right, the time has come. This is gonna be very, very nostalgic because me, like most black women, grew up on blue magic my mama used to grease my scalp my granny used to grease my scalp so i am so looking forward to this i don't remember smelling like that okay so what i'm going to do is because i have a hefty amount of leave-in on i'm going to apply some of the blue magic on top of my hair to lock in that moisture right but listen listen linda blue magic is not a holding formula. It is meant strictly to help balance out your moisture. So of course, I got to put my boo on top. Y'all know what I'm using for hold. You know what I'm using for hold. But in case you're new to my channel, my favorite gel of all time is Wetline. If you're new here, Wetline is a very inexpensive gel. It's amazing for holding my short hair. You can get it at like Target, Sally, a lot of other places and it's like $3. So I like to use it, okay, okay. So let's start with this blue magic. I can't get over that, that stinks. So I'm gonna just take some of this right here, do just like that right there, and I cannot believe I have blue magic in my hair in 2020, but it feels so good. Cause I'm gonna try not to go overboard, cause the more you have on her, the harder it is to get out of your hair. But I do wanna have like this good experience or whatever, so I'm gonna just take my fingers and rub it in like that, like that right there. Ooh. I like it. So I'm gonna just take some wet line gel, put that on top. Honey, I use a hefty amount because again, it's $3, I don't care. So I'm just put that on there, just like that right there. Rub my fingers through it to rake it in. Uh-oh. It... 
uh, it's not supposed to look like that. Okay, so let, let's let's try that again. Okay, okay, all right. So let's do that. Okay, I mean my curls are popping. I just mm. let's try a new section. Okay, okay, let's do that. Let's do that. Okay, cause this got to go right. Okay, listen. In memory of my granny, this got to be right. So I'm gonna use a smaller amount of the blue magic this time. So I'm taking this much. Put it on my fingers, rub it. Rub that on my hair. It really does feel good. And then I'm gonna take some wet line gel, hefty amount, and put it on top. Rake it in with my fingers, child. Oh my goodness. We might be onto something. Might. It actually looks really good. My, honey, look, 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 look. Do y'all see that? Oh, honey. Okay, I'm gonna do the rest of my hair and I'll be back. Okay, so the hair grease gel combo has been applied all over my head. I ain't gonna lie, I'm a little bit worried because I'm wondering if the gel, well, now the grease is preventing the gel from really grasping onto my strands because it felt like it was kind of slipping off. It's kind of weird to describe, but it did feel like maybe the grease is preventing the gel from really grasping onto my hair to give it the hold that I want. But either way it go, we gonna see what happens. So I'm gonna actually get under the dryer and just let it dry and then I'm gonna come back and show you how I stretch my hair and get the style and everything else. But yeah, right now, it felt good to go down memory lane. I ain't gonna say it's a staple in my house right now, but I will say it felt good to go down memory lane. You know, a little black girl in me is rejoicing. So I'll be back once my hair is dry. All right, so it's time to stretch my hair. My hair is not totally dry by any means. I would say if I was using a percentage, it's probably about 50 to 60% dry, but the rest of the way as it dries, I'm gonna stretch it. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna band my hair as simple as that. So I'm gonna take a section on my hair, take just a plain elastic, loop it around twice. I'm gonna be looking real crazy, don't you judge me now. You know who to judge, but I ain't gonna say it in this video, but you know who you can judge. Okay, so I'm gonna just take another portion, wrap it around twice at the root. Okay, so my banding, as you can see, is kind of just like lifting out the, uh, the afro. This portion of my hair is where I want it to be really elongated. So what I'm going to do, take my elastic, I'm gonna wrap it around twice at the root like usual. Then I'm gonna take another elastic, it's really just that simple, and go up the ponytail, but making sure I don't band the ends. That makes sense? So that's how I'm gonna dry the rest of my hair. I'm gonna do one more section with your child and then I'm gonna get back under the dryer. Take that section of hair, take the elastic, wrap it around twice at the root, take another elastic and wrap it up the ponytail, but making sure that the ends stay out. So I'm gonna do that to this patch right here and I'll be back once my hair is totally dry. All right, so for the most part, my hair is dry, so I'm gonna go ahead and take my bands off and just fluff the curls out. Band off. Honey, come on! All right. Okay, so it's pretty much stretched out. Ooh, that still went, I can't do anything with that. I'm gonna get my diffuser and uh, diffuse that the rest of the way, use my pick to pick it up, and then I'll come back and show you the final results. And here is the finished results of my hair, and I cannot express to you how much I love it. First of all, let me turn around. Bound chicka wow, wow. Here's the bag. I don't even know what it looked like. I hope it's cute. And then here's another side, and we're back to the front. All I did was I took my bands off in the places where it was still damp. I just pressed a diffuser there with the blow dryer, and then I lifted my hair from the roots, really more so here. I kind of did like mid strand and left the ends alone, and I lifted the roots around the side and the back. And y'all, I love my hair. First of all, I can't express to you how moisturized my hair feels. I don't know what it was about the combination of the grease and the leave-in, but it really locked in that moisture. My hair feels 
so freaking incredible now it does have a little bit of a greasy feeling like i definitely have some shine on my fingers but it's nothing that i'm mad about now i will say though the grease did do what i thought it would do which was cause like a greasiness up against the uh the gel so the gel did not hold as hard as i usually would when i do it but it gave me more of a fluffy look than defined. And honestly, I like this look on me, okay? I'm not mad that it's not necessarily as defined, but to me, it still looks good. Now, it does still have a hole. It's not as hard as it usually would be when I'm using wet line, but it does have a hole. But y'all, I just cannot believe I got these results using some blue magic and some gel. Like, honestly, I love my hair. So if y'all have any questions, leave them down below. I more so made this video just to chill with y'all for a minute, pulling out some old school, see how it work on my natural hair. And honestly, I really do like it. So with that being said, let me go and get out of here. Oh, let me make something real clear. Okay. I did that video using Jerry Curl Activator. Honestly, I did not believe that I would have to say this, but I do. I only use the activator. I do not have a Jerry Curl. This is my natural hair, okay? I did not process my hair, okay? The only thing I did was put a black rinse on top. I don't have a jerry curl. I don't have a jerry curl. I don't have a jerry curl. So with that being said, I'm gonna go get out of here. Have a good week. Stay safe. Be safe in these runner streets and stay hotel home as much as possible. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye, honey. Mwah.